Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Iken. We're doing the blind playthrough of Supreme Jerk Difficulty, a harsh and unforgiving reality. We're in episode number four. Current death count so far is one, and we are continuing to explore the city. Let's start with the deputy marshals. The young guard faces a nervous but a determined. He steps forward as you approach and holding up his hand. By order of the patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. What kind of authorization do we need? From the head of a family or authorization from the patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, what's patriarch through the gate? Heights and the patriarch's palace. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. We don't need to go there yet. Let's go further back. I think the these guys haven't opened up yet. Okay, well, of course they wouldn't open up as fast. We got through all of uh, this here. What I would want to do is we need a few more medical supplies, I think, now that we have saved the $200 for saving that boy. First of all, sell the junk. Second of all, we're actually buying quite a few of the med kits and a few more of those quicker items. Fair enough. What's uh, this antidote? 15. Hmm. Potentially not worth it. Good. Good enough. We'll keep the rest of the money. So, everybody who can should get themselves a first aid kit. Very good. Cool. So we have that sorted out. Let's explore the rest of the city. name's Theodora Curie. Theo for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics. I always have time to answer some questions. If you're here to learn about all... Alright, who are you? I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe. Sadly... They are gone, and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. Tell us about it's the wall. simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla-styled electrical deterrence. Not an absolute marvel of what could be done, but sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. If we had oil to power the generators, You'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Believe me, I... Back to the wall. All right, Jesse here. I want to talk to Mama. She's the one in charge. Mama Quarter. Okay. Sitting on that camping chair. Grizzled and gnarled as an old uh, oak tree, the round little woman scrouts at you from under her scarf. Ice invisible in a face that is more <laughs> has more wrinkles than Got skin. Business with Mama Carter? Uh, yes. Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. Good. We got some items. Some more healing, that's always good. We got our Kodiak right there. It's potentially not our Kodiak. Maybe it is. Who knows? More repair kits. More items. Oh, that is the wet dream of any uh, mechanic, right? Can't wait to get back on the road. Luckily, I stopped him before he got us all killed. Just you wait. This place is going to shine. All right, Jimmy Longhall, what is your story? Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far. Yeah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. 
I would have shot those Dorsey's dead if they haven't seen your friends before. What is this, this place? Is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for. F I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repair? Best crew in the business. Cool. We can alter our ride. That is good. Looks like you also need to repair that? people. Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up. Good thing too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. Can you tell no us about workers, your employees? Not employees. Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. Oh, Rhino Cannon. Trunk a horn. Toolkit, hefty hit lets you need to uh, do repairs. Okay. Apparently, the whole uh, um, vehicle is a real thing. What is Doc Parker? Is? Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, <coughs> but I've got no time for niceties. Doc Understood, brother. Can we do anything to help? They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. What can we do? Find and return supplies to Doc Parker in downtown. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally done. Great. All right. Then get started on those patients. He nods, allowing himself a quiet sigh of relief, then returns his attention to the injured woman. Okay, we got some experience out of that, so it's always good to do that. What now? Finally, get started on those patients. It isn't. <laughs> this man is sitting clenched, teased in a puddle of his own blood. His hands pressed to his belly, intestines bulge between his slates of the fingers. He won't last much longer without help. You see any one of the sur uh, searcher kits on him may be able to save his <laughs> life. Bad, is it? Just flesh wound. Am I right? You should see. The other guy. All right. Added to the pile. Is yeah, wait. I do have. Bad, dude, I do have the kids. Flesh wound. Am I right? You should see. How do I use items on someone else? It's a bit weird. We should head back. Bad, is it? Just flesh wound. Am I right? You should see. There we go. You closed my wound. Huh. This staring at my own gods. Thanks. Would have bled to death. What now? Can you patch us up? Now I can. Sure. Good. Everybody got healed. Fantastic. Okay. You're good. Any chance you'd be interested in working for us? We can use a good doctor at our headquarters. There are people dying right here, right now, and you're trying to get me to leave? As long as you don't mind if I keep working while we talk. A suture kit, a medical pack, and an injury kit. Then use them to fix up the other patients. Okay, so we need to fix up all of the patients. I see what it is. Unconscious, okay. Almost unconscious. Her body is a nightmare of bruises, but at least she's breathing. The damage is severe, uh, but treatable with a basic tool. You could use one of your med packs to save her life. All right. Med pack, save her life. Cool. There we go. Where? What's going on? Did you? It still hurts, but way less than it did. 
and doesn't appear to be in much pain, but he's intensely focused on his leg. Uh, white bone shears through the skin. He clearly broken in several places. Uh, this might add up poorly for him. You can use one of your injury kits to save his life. To escape the Dorsey's. Didn't count on the round. All right, time for the injury kit. Central is doing all of the heavy lifting here. You said it. Ugh, still hurts like a bitch. But what now? We've done everything we can for the patients that they kind of should all pull through. Thank you. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've all done. You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. Oh. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cl If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. Welcome on board, Dr. Parker. Thank you. You've saved her life. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Uh, not now, the base, at the moment. Cool. We got a doctor at our base. Good job, everyone. Good job. Need help? Oh, talk to Jimmy Longhall. Cool. So that solves the whole doctor um, thing right there. No entry. So happens we got a different breed of no room for amateurs at this time. Where is the sheriff? So, primary missions, cornered rats. Uh, shortly before we arrive P at Peterson Air Force, large group of doors is attacked. Uh, talk to Sheriff Downtown. Can we somewhat track that quest? Uh, we should talk to Sheriff Daisy at uh, the Marshal Headquarters. Okay. And full house. Gransky suggested we build up the base. At minimum, we should uh, staff the brick, med bay, armory, and garage. We've now functional med bay, staffed by a doctor. Okay, cool. Uh, completed missions, not very interesting, but let's go with the main missions for now. Uh, all we need to do is find. the sheriff so if i was a sheriff where would i be maybe here no that's uh, the main hall we've been in there there are a couple of dogs running around which i suppose we can now charm them Oh, we already have an animal follower. All right, never mind. Good, here it says Marshal Deputy, so we're not that far away, which means this here must be the Marshal's house, which in return means all we need to do is go back to the very beginning where we came from and get into the Marshal's house. The only thing that we haven't done yet is interview the Colorado citizen. If it's too dangerous for you, Marshals, maybe I should go in there myself. Ah, Marshals, finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help Hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. <laughs> Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. Ruffians? I... Forgive me. That was unkind. I just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. The marshals seem a bit overwhelmed at the moment. Maybe, but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. 
We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. Is there anyone here who can sing? Uh, you should get less consideration than you. Um, we're, uh, we're the Arizona Rangers. We could help you. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or... No, thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until you speak to me. I would me. appreciate the chance to persuade her, Deputy. Miss Wesson, you're going to have to wait. I do apologize. <laughs> There's a drunk one in there. Did someone yell something about the Deputy Torres, will the sheriff see me now? Not yet. Cop, bad cop, a swinging exposure of a light bulb, the classic. Okay, cool. Well, let's just see what else is in here. There are a couple of medical supplies. We can certainly use those. More medical supplies. And we don't have four in pick lock. That is unfortunate. We need a little bit more in the skills in order to be successful here. Lots of martial deputies and there is Sheriff Daisy. I like that. How's your family? My mom and pa are safe. Still haven't heard from my sister. She was working near the museum. Sheriff is a statuesque woman with a graying blonde hair and a steel in her smile. Well, now you must be the rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the... F and by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he... Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Uh, Lusa Wetson wants to talk about rescuing her family from the Dorseys. You think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a couple of 50 other people yapping at me, too. Tell you what, though. Her people are 100 family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save me. In fact, I'm going to insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. All right, sounds like we got Lucia Watson with us. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. Let's talk about your combat Certainly. experience. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. I somehow doubt that, but okay. That's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. Oh, really? Well, I might eat my words then. We don't care how well you shoot. We're not saying, uh, no. But have you killed anyone? I... There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. All right, At let's last. go. 
Lucia Watson, self-proclaimed best shot, who is coming in hot and heavy with uh, no quirk and gunslinger. Okay. She has small arms and likes them. She has weapon modding and a bit of survival. Not exactly the type of character that we would uh, keep around for a long time. But as she says, beggars can't be choosers. And for now, she's better than anyone. Uh, unless, of course, we can reskill her. In which case, I like the character itself. If we could make her kind of a different type of character, that would be fantastic. Good, we got a couple more recipes for our weapon modifications. Much as I'd love to shoot the shit. Marshal Lupinski? My apologies. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. All right. No room for amateurs in this town. Uh, that very much looks like a place no where we are saving room. the game. Because now we're going to the Garden of Gods. And I have no idea what we're up against. We have a decent uh, troop assembled. Sit tight, we'll take care of the door Dorsey's. Are you kidding me? You can't get the ice block. Oh, I know how we can get it. 100,000 uh, heat damage. Uh, we might want to turn that off. Ice Axe. Level 5 bladed weapon. With a sucker punch ability. Take him off guard. Quick attack that has better hit chance but lower damage. <laughs> I like it. Alright, so... Hogbite is uh, taking his new pickaxe, which, by the way, seems to do more damage than his blunt weapon. Not surprising because it is higher level. We got someone, uh, we got a utility. Who's getting. You know what? Might as well give you the utility one. That gives you more first aid. Not that it matters a lot, but better than nothing. Uh, game automatically saved. All right, so... Um Yeah, I get it. Let's carefully move here. Crouch down. Okay, we're crouching down. Crouching down. Marshal Quan crouches down here and Hogbite gets just a tiny bit closer. Where did you come from? Get back the hell off or you're dead. Calm down, let's talk this out like adults. Yeah. 
we should have gotten the first strike against them. <sighs> Come on, so many melee characters, are you kidding me? Unreal. They are shooting at Hogbite. Hogbite, however, evades. And now our melee friends, Major Tom and our dog, are continuing to deal some damage. They were quite reliable, I must say, so far. All right, our sniper, Murphy. Best chance is to get that ambusher here. But we wouldn't have a 100% chance to kill him. So, you know what? We're going to take out our axe, right? And we do have Sucker Punch for 3 AP. Well, we're just attacking him normally, I suppose. Good hit. Now that leads into a nice kill. Murphy is going to prepare for next turn. Uh, okay, we, uh, we that would be friendly fire. That's another 3 AP. Good hit. Oh, by this getting there, man. And then begins to move all the way over here. That frees up the penetrating shot that I was looking for. Great hit. Unfortunately, not quite killed both of them. Trick shot, usable in combat, uh, fires a handgun, 50% hit chance. Uh, if this attack hits, you gain an instant 3 AP and your strike meter is instantly fi uh, uh, filled. And she got snapshot, extremely quick attack uh, with only a 1 AP, I see. Okay. I think we're just gonna go here for now. Didn't cost us anything. She is a good shot. I am not going to deny that. Trick shot, very low chance of hitting, so we're not going to do that. We're instead going to take the normal shot. And we're taking the quick shot. It was a small chance. Ramos uh, hits our own dog. That's not so cool. But the rest was done very, very, very well. And he begins to move forward because we need to uh, fight these other guys. Oh, come on, not enough AP. All right, Central moves up as well. Ramos takes some hits. So does our front line. Not surprising, Hogbite has taken a few hits. All right, Sniper first.
<laughs> so good. Love it. Moves up. Prepares for next round. Marsha Kwon. Is taking a couple of shots and then takes over the remaining action points. Just out of range. I like the idea of that sucker punch. Central. Moves up. Not a great shot. Uh, but but he got some leverage there. We're not standing in the open. We're going to go here and overwatch just in case this guy moves. Hogbite moves very, very close. Alright, how long does Hogbite continue to bleed? 17 seconds remain. Use on self. Uh, we're better off just letting the bleed happen so that costs us one uh, med kit but our overall a very clean fight a couple of uh, crafting materials matter of fact only crafting materials but that's okay all right so after that first successful skirmish let's get that guy from the ledge uh, damage sensor crafting component more crafting component and more crafting components and oh well I guess he didn't make it got another melee weapon And we got to level up. I totally <coughs> did miss that. Okay, cool. So, more awareness would be good. I think we're going to max that before we're then going for coordination. And awareness 7 sounds like a plan to me. Confirm. Very good. Listen, I mean, we definitely need small arms upgraded. Uh, that's six with seven. We're finally getting the perk that we're looking for. So next time we get skill points, we could get that supreme perk. And in terms of perks, I want draw. The first attack after reloading, an empty weapon costs no AP. Then all we need to do is uh, shoot our weapon empty. And it says empty weapon. That uh, They were clever about it. So... Hmm. It's good, but it's maybe not that good. What, what are the other options? Precision strikes have significantly higher chances of inflicting critical effects. And then we do have Mark. And Mark seems like a decent... Um, addition when we're running low on action points or when we just can't take a shot, right? Evasion reduced, 50% damage from precision strikes. That does not seem like a bad idea. Trick shot we have already seen. Handgun. Yeah. 
Your strike meter charges at a bonus of handgun attacks. Yeah, no, nah, we're not handgun specialists. We just want draw. More evasion, more armor, more con. Another quick slot. Crit resistance also not bad. No, but I think we're going to go with Mark for now. Might as well get that draw perk later. Still want to get uh, the small arms up to level 7 to get the perk, uh, which to me seems like a good perk, and then we're going to go for sniper rifles next. But that just generally costs a lot of a lot of points. Okay. But yeah, Murphy is uh, doing well. If he hits, if and when he hits, uh, it is devastating. But from time to time it has been, been a question of if he hits at all. I like that they have plenty of medical items around. All right, trap disabler, frag mine. Giant eggplant up there. I wonder how you get to the giant eggplant. But for now, Ramos got a level upgrade. I like that. Let's give him one in strength because the heavier weapons indeed cost a lot of uh, strength uh, so I want to make sure that that is okay explosives 4 is a fantastic investment because some of the traps we couldn't yet uh, crack lock picking 4 wouldn't be bad either I think both of them are definitely fine I like that mm. but traps are just more prevalent and what are we going to do with big guns so we do have uh, plus 0.5 combat speed in the first uh, round of the turn that is not bad because we need to get into cover from time to time suppressing fire consumes twice as many bullets enemy in the area take main or minor damage and are suppressed um, really low speed uh, hit chance reduction and if enemies are demoralized, they take even more damage. I love the flamethrower idea, but currently we don't have that. And we got pressure cooker, superheat an enemy's vehicle with your flamethrower. We don't have a flamethrower, so that's pointless. So it's a question of do we want suppression or do we want that extra speed? Hmm, good question. I think we're going to start with uh, suppressing fire which sounds nice like a perk that seems very very useful from time to time and so far we're good Got a few more traps detected here and there. Cool, what we don't have is a mechanic at the moment. Yet again, there would be a lot to unpack here, so it's a bit of a shame that we're not getting any mechanics. Oh, they do have quill beasts and a lot of enemies right there. Plus, if any of these traps so far are a foreshadowing sign, Uncle tells me you're a man of questionable morals, Mr. Kwan. Well, that's why I'm on the payroll. Somebody's got to get their hands dirty. So good folk like you can keep your hearts clean. That's not how Colorado Springs works, Mr. Kwan. That's how you work. Huh. I'm sure you know best. Good. Murphy takes this really good position here. Um... We're going to position ourselves here. Mm. 
Now let's take the sort of front line. Central needs to stay central, you know. That's kind of his shtick. Still getting used to all of uh, the commands. Marshal Kwong here. Lucia to the front line. Dude. It, come on. It's really not that difficult. Lucia to the front line. Fantastic. And we get you over here. Now, Murphy. Do we have something... That blood beast looks dangerous. And the beast master does as well. Good strike. Good first hit. Beast master is potentially one of our main targets. And we got him right where we want him. currently can't hit two with that so what else do we have spray and pray sure let's go with that <laughs> beastmaster took quite a bit of damage i like that and we're just readying for next turn Quill Beasts are slightly out of range, but that Hunter is not. I wonder. Ah, suppressing. I see. Okay. Uh, no, that's not it. Suppressing fire looks good. Oh, that would be good. Sure, why not? Let's go, baby. Good, we only have one more rocket, so let's not waste uh, that. Which each successful attack targets a specific area to inflict that effect. What what does it do? Charge up this ability. Yeah, okay, well, precision strike. But what does precision strike do? It's precise. Oh. Uh, how close is he to anyone else? Well, we're going to go into melee, so... Anything but a headshot won't do. Okay, well, that's fair, I guess. Okay, how about we are just overwatching here for now. Hogbite can theoretically set up an ambush, which might be good if the Quill Beast comes in. Murder time! Oh yeah, that ambush was good. Uh, the retaliation, not so much. Alright, our animals go behind enemy's line. That is great. Murphy starts. And what's Murphy's outlook? Fifty fifty on most of these guys. 
tell you what, we're starting with those uh, with close range. Fair enough. Now we do have a good utilization of our charged up ability. That thing is almost down. Love it. Central is taking one AP over to the next turn. And we are very much moving forward to here. Ramos uh, doesn't take no for an answer. He certainly does not. Okay, charges in. Uh oh, no, 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 we're not doing that. Come on. Ogbai takes one AP over to the next turn. They are a bit cornered. I like that. Also him fleeing here. What I don't like is us bleeding yet again. <laughs> Good. But moves up ever so slightly. Sniper missed, unfortunately. Lucia moves up, misses as well. We're switching to assault rifles just to have the longer range. Uh, range Central hits but can't fully convert One moves up Couple more individual hits again can't fully convert we need to reload with him as well Ramos moves up, bleeds, but doesn't care. To quote Predator, I don't have time to bleed. Oh wow, okay, that was a good hit. Lucia took some serious damage there. Listen, Lucia needs to shortly stabilize herself. Then reloads. And doesn't even have enough AP to do anything, so that's unfortunate. Murphy gets the kill. Moves up because he knows he's out of range. Central moves, uh, misses all of the shots. That is a bit pathetic, but 
What can you do? Okay, we're losing a few hit points here and there. Uh, Lucia, where is the stethoscope? Damn it, not quick enough. I am looking for that stethoscope that I just dropped uh, with Hogbite, uh, but in reality I've never dropped it. Because that gives plus one medic and I hope I could trick the system by then using a medkit on themselves. Good. Given that Ramos has taken so much beating, uh, we might want to keep uh, that stethoscope on him. Because Hogbite can use these things on himself without a problem. Perfect. We got some level up. So, what are we going to do? Attributes. Get some coordination or more strength. Strength is important for the melee weapons <clears throat> and heavier armor. Also melee damage and currently we're lacking all of that but intelligence will give us more skill points which isn't bad either. So I would say we're taking 8 to intelligence and then we're continuing getting the rest up. In terms of skill points, melee combat would be good. I like that. Animal Whisperer definitely helps out uh, so far, but I think we're just going with melee weapons for now. And for him, extra hit points would definitely be good. Armor would be good. Evasion would be good. Crit resistance, all of that would be fantastic. Uh, animal training isn't bad. Gain bonus con damage. That's not bad at all. Takes with blunt weapons, critically hit, stun, bling, shock, bleeding, and poison enemies. Okay, so... If we could apply status effects, blood sport would be uh, the thing. Well, having a gun means you don't have anything extra weighting you down. Oh, that is fantastic striking distance. That just increases our speed. That's actually really, really good. Focus blunt attack that stuns the target. Minus hit chance. But deals a good amount of damage. And this is bleeding strike. Aggressive bladed attacks, 100% uh, damage inflicts stealing, but minus hit chance. Okay, well, we're going to go striking distance because the main problem is currently we're not able to really get to him or to the enemies. And I wonder if we show the stats, how quick are we? Got a bit of armor, that's good, but where's our movement? Initiative, combat speed, 2.1. Okay, yeah, well, we need to get that one up. And we need to get drunk more often. Uh, potentially in, in the later fights. As for you, we're not keeping Marshal Quan, uh, but he seems like a nice guy so far. More speed would help him to effectively run more. That definitely would be good. Or we can just increase awareness so that he hits more often, which is fine. In terms of skills, um, in the absence of anyone else having any of that, let's give him mechanics 3. Because if I am correct in my assumptions, one therefore 
could repair this. Somehow, so first of all, that's great loot, but I would love to actually work with the computer. Frozen ferret launcher, what? <laughs> what? Frozen ferrets and there are indeed five frozen ferrets as an ammunition. Are you kidding me? Okay, that requires weird signs. A lot of damage. I like that. Razor box. Um, melee weapon more pointy. We got skill book. Permanently increases brawling. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, an item? Well, it's a uh, dynamic matrix that crosses photons, clearly. Cassette tape. Right. Uh, this is Bellamy Ward, PAL operational test number uh, 110. I have adjusted the angle of the solar collectors by 3.12 degrees to improve the energy transmission from the photonic amplification lenses. I've also attached a more sensitive voltmeter to the test panel, so I can hopefully get a more accurate reading of the conversion rate. Everything's set. Here we go. The photon amplification lenses are operating at 60% ambient light, approximately what we would expect on a typical day in Colorado Springs. Checking the voltmeter now. Yes, it's working. Energy storage is 12% above norm. This is better than I hoped. Now, if I can get the storage rate up to 25%, we'll have surplus power running into the batteries each day. For the first time since the deluge of fire, Colorado Springs will have all the electricity it needs. I can't wait to show this to Theo and Megan. They'll be so excited. Okay, maybe the guy with cold fusion would be interested in that. Requires power and something tells me that we are getting that a little bit later. Unless we can get behind here and there is something that I'm missing. Oh yeah. Okay, so I get you. What? Create a new character? Play Bellamy Land 2? Okay, well, there's nothing wrong with playing a little game. That reminds me of a few of the old games. Uh, in one, I'm not sure, maybe you know it, and if so, put it in the comments down below. Um, it was one of those very old games where you could play inside, I think it was Day of the Tentacle. And in Day of the Tentacle, you could go to a slot machine. It was just a random machine like this. And then it says, do we want to play... Um, Maniac Mansion, which is another great game for those youngsters out there that have never played it. Oh boy, you're missing out. But anyways, the point is, you could actually play the entire game then, so they were just uh, loading it up, which I think was ultra funny. Got some armor, got some frozen hearts as cra crafting components, got some more crafting components, uh, junk. We got a sniper rifle, Hawk Hunter. We already have a Hawk Hunter. More ammo. And that's good. But I think we also got some, emu uh, some armor. Which... Allows us two. Armor plus one. Armor plus two. Okay. Well. Tell you what. Every little bit of armor is valuable in these lands. 
requires three strength. Well, you get that armor. And... Fabulous. I still like the frozen ferret launcher. Junk, uh, weapon mod, weapon mod might be helpful for our sniper, modify weapon, didn't we get a weapon mod, mods, what does it do? Uh, good for increasing the cone uh, of a shotgun. Uh-huh. All right. Well, guess what? There you go. You now got a wider cone. The scent of charred meat and burned hair rafts from the pit. Lucia stares at the bodies, her knuckles in a wide grip at her gun, and her breath comes to little gas. Any sign of your family? can't see a, a thing. I don't know if they're here or not. I can't... Near the edge of the pit, a child-sized corpse appears to be clutching suitcase. something as if they were protecting it. That... That was one of the Skylar girls, I think. It seems like we ought to leave her alone. Feels an awful lot like grave robbing. There's a cyborg chicken here. Interesting. Well, we just got ourselves a Molotov cocktail. That's a fantastic cocktail, specifically for someone who has burning. So we are going to give that to our explosive guy, Ramos. Congratulations, Ramos. Game has <clears throat> saved itself again. Let's just check over here. There is still some more that we haven't yet gotten. Ooh, nice. Armor and even better armor. I like that. So first the frontliner. Armor plus four. That's good. Armor plus six, armor plus four. I think the armor here is still not too bad. Oh, someone in the background really is having an anger fit. Critical chance and armor. I like that. We already got it equipped here. Might as well put it on to central. And we got a heavier required helmet. Ramos doesn't look as cool as he used to look before, but you know, you gotta do some sacrifices. It's as always style versus stats. Get some ammo from the ammo box and let's see what else is up here. Uh oh well these guys look terrifying but there is something that we could get from here Can we... Okay. Good. Can we turn? Oh, we could have burned these guys. Oh, now I do understand. 
Can we turn it around to the alphas there? Apparently not. Alright, so Murphy, you're going to be the one that is setting these guys up for good. You know, by on a, th a second thought, how about... How about moving to here? Good, and then we got a uh, suppressive fire because that means these guys are losing speed and can't hit us as fast. Right? Okay, but it also means literally no one was triggered. Good, we're going to wait until that is back up. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Marsha Kwon, Murphy. Murphy, slightly to the back. Lucia, slightly to the front. All right, we're starting with Murphy. Murphy absolutely crits the living hell out of uh, that dog. The alpha is suppressed. I like that. I like that a lot. And how about just for good measures, you guys are getting a Molotov cocktail. Want to see how that works. Burning, good status effect. I like it. Good. You're taking this one over to next round. Marshall Kwon does have a straight shot. Why not? Hitting both of them. And we're then following up with uh, taking stuff over to the next round. Moves to here. Hits the wolf, takes one over to next round. Uh, still can't, it's just barely out of range, unfortunately. So what we can do is overwatch and hogbite is our melee. is preparing for their arrival. There's the ambush. <laughs> oh wow, they are hitting fast and hard. I don't like that. As le at least it's not like in War Tales where you're somehow taking fire damage as well if you're in melee. Wolf, we whiffed that one attack and taking a heavier attack with that as well. Okay, cool. Not good. Why is it 50%? What, why is it so difficult to hit that stupid wolf? Why? 
That doesn't make any sense. Alright, we're unfortunately done with his turn. Lucia. Hit the hat. Hit the hat. Good hit. Takes another shot. Another good hit. And we got a snapshot. Unfortunately a miss, but rest was good. I like it. Good, besides Lucia, who has taken a bit of a beating here, the rest was fine. Uses a med kit on herself. Let's see what uh, these guys do have. They do have a fine piece of wolf armor I think this here could have been kind of the secret passage creepy doll for more perception and a shrink grenade Ten shrink grenades, actually. All right, who needs perception? I think our sniper is good at that, but also has a crit charm. So who is good at perception? Awareness. Paints the same, but it is Marshal Quan. It paints the same. It is Marshal Quan. Well, where are. That's the modification box. Weapons. Set under armor? No. Ammunition, usable items, mods. Usable items? Maybe? No. And then there are mission items. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Good, we just got these bad boys here, shrink grenades. Which, by the way, is a weird item. So maybe someone should take weird. Because it is fun to shoot frozen <laughs> ferrets. Which, by the way, is a hilarious weapon if you think about it. And... The perception thing seems to be gone. No, nowhere. You guys are potentially seeing it. I'm not seeing it. We're going to uh, um, equip it a little bit later. It's not the end of all days now. Good, let's try this whole thing again, shall we? I say agree. The clothes on this young man are impeccable tailored. The height of local fashion, he holds his hands up and launches into an obviously prepared speech. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brago's organization, and... and... Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? They're, they're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I promise. Lady, look, I didn't mean it to go this way. I tried to stop them. I, I really did. I begged. Stop talking right now. 
Wait a minute, you kids were helping the Dorseys? We thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that part okay with you, Isaac? Just tell us how those people wound up dead. It was Melius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want anything to happen to you. You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. Where's Nelia's Dorsey now? He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. Why did you do it, Isaac? Why betray your community? We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. <clears throat> they say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. It needs to change. Well, the Doris is acting alone. Did they have support from anyone else? The Rigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Nelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, the Patriarch's daughter. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Her voice shakes, but her end does not. You didn't even see her draw the gun. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Ah, uh, he's Please. garbage, so... Please go ahead. Lucia. The bullet strikes him in the gut. He topples blood spitters from his lip and slowly spreading a pool of gore surrounding him. He turns his head up to Lucia, agony in his gaze. It's going to take him a long time to die. You know, he's a pig, but he doesn't need to suffer that long. Okay. All right. Please, Lucia. Please. She turns away in a violent sick. Behind her, Isaac breathes his last. Are you kidding me? <laughs> choo choo, here comes the pain train. I like that. Central in the middle of all of that. Let's get rid of. Oh, wait. Ooh. Marshall Quan. Uh, goes to here. Hits the head. And Quan finishes him. That is good. I like it. Murphy. Hits the head. That allows him to then sprint to here, far enough away from
from all of that unfortunate positioning. Lucia, on the other hand, moves over here. Behave. Come in November 1. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. We took care of the doses. There are no survivors. Uh, we killed every last Dorsey Red and the hundred. Nah, there are no survivors. Kick ass, November 1. Glad to hear justice has been done. Over and out. Good, got a brawling uh, ring here and a bit of money. Money and some junk. I said a level one knife, a level one pistol, another level one pistol. And all they had was absolute garbage. Good. Level 5 brawling weapon that looks less like garbage and we got a pocket dock armor mod uh, Healing bonus and more armor. I like that as well as a weapon barrel Frontline gets all of the weapon modifications and Let's modify our heavy weapon here with a little bit more damage. I like that. So far, the heavy gun and our sniper are our main damage dealers. And we got more crafting components. Listen, guys. That is a good spot after so much action to say goodbye for the fourth episode. Still only one death so far. We're actually doing all right, I think. We're doing okay. So and that was a lively, lively episode. We're seeing very soon uh, we're going to level up yet again. I like this little level preview. That's cute. Uh, that is quite helpful. I would love to get... A few other characters than Marshall Kwon and uh, Lucia Weston. I don't mind Lucia too much or the Marshall. They are actually doing surprisingly well. I wouldn't say that our custom created characters are doing that much better. So if I compare, for instance, Central here, who is my custom character for assault rifles with a high intelligence score. Granted, um, he does have a lot of social skills, but if I directly compare him with Marshall Kwon, who also does have some social uh, skills. I think Marshall Kwon is doing better, but that's mainly due to his weapon. And I think Kwon also does have a little bit more coordination, therefore just, just exactly 8 AP, which is enough to shoot twice with a weapon. So that's something to consider as well, just getting to those AP breakpoints. I think Central will need to get to 4 AP next. Um, Murphy is hit and miss in the true sense of the meaning. He deals a lot of damage. I've seen crits for 300 coming in, 400 even. I think the one was 700, but I might be misremembering. Uh, so that is good. He's hitting very well and his uh, his damage is fine, but he only has 6 AP, so that's a problem. The whole serial killer thing, okay. But my main concern is even if you kill someone with it, doesn't uh, really serve you well so far. But 
that might be very early taking maybe later in the game you chain kill uh, enemies you can even only get uh, that once per turn but net net that could be a plus two ap so if say he would be killing enemies regularly he would just come in at plus two ap and if we can get coordination high enough so much so that He's currently having 6 AP. He needs 6 AP for the uh, for the shot. If we can get to two sniper shots regularly with that serial killer, that would be good. Which means we still need three more. Uh, so something along the lines of that much coordination or some other way of gaining it. But then he could sniper shot, get uh, the uh, serial killer and sniper shot again. And that's really, I think, the point where... I want to get him to plus even more crit at the moment. Other than that, it's okay. So uh, the melee character does not, so Hogbite does not really convince me yet. But to be fair, I've also never given him the chance to drink um, any of his alcohol. So that's really on me for not playing him right. We do have alcohol, so should uh, woos him up and uh, see how that one goes because that will give him for 36 turns uh, melee damage and then we just need to wait uh, a long time afterwards because he has his kind of uh, turkey that he's that he needs to go through uh, the melee weapon itself okay damage uh, once you are next to an enemy you can attack two three times that is good i like it the heavy weapon definitely is carrying uh, mm, uh, is carrying their weight currently my favorite build so far the heavy gun ultra hardcore uh, We just need to double check that we're not running out of uh, ammunition currently we're not but just need to double check that he and the sniper are uh, doing relatively well I should say yeah relatively well the pistols are surprisingly good either but um, it's not not a big surprise with a level 5 gun because both his sword rifle and the other gun really can't be compared to our stuff we do have a level 1 submachine gun so it's barely comparable maybe we need to spend some money in order to upgrade our weapons uh, but we can do that the next time for now thanks a lot for watching guys truly appreciate it uh, if you like wastelands 3 uh, think about leaving a comment down below elsewise you're never upgrading your level one weapon at home so craft a little uh, automatic device that hits the like button and see you in the next episode bye bye